to make this murb biryani, we will need two cups of rice soaked in water for about 20 minutes and then I'm going to place it on the flame. Now to this, I'm going to add my whole garam masala. I'm going to have cinnamon stick, cardamom, green cardamom, black cardamom, one cinnamon stick, four cloves, four peppercorns, three bay leaves. I'm going to add one teaspoonful of salt. It's very important to get the salt right, so you've got to add the right amount of salt to this rice. Just a teaspoon of uh, cumin powder or whole jeera. Now give this a nice mix and uh, let it kind of come to a boil. Okay. Now until this comes to a boil, I'm going to tell you what we do with the chicken. Now um, particularly for a biryani dish, you actually need to use chicken with bone, but uh, it's a matter of choice. If you like boneless, you can use boneless, you can use with bone. It doesn't make a lot of difference really. So today I'm going to show you how to make this murk tikka biryani. And um, we're going to make this with boneless chicken. Okay, because I already have a recipe up for a normal chicken biryani. This is a murk tikka biryani. And uh, ensure your chunks of chicken are nice and large okay so that they they kind of don't break in the biryani okay i have about half a kilo of uh, boneless white breast chicken to this i'm going to add one tablespoon of uh, ginger garlic paste now to this marination i have added one tablespoon of ginger garlic paste i'm going to add one tablespoon of garam masala powder one tablespoon of red chili powder one teaspoon of lemon powder or you could use half of a lemon four green chilies two tablespoons of uh, yogurt i'm using low fat yogurt you can use what you like two teaspoonfuls of ghee now uh, we're going to mix all this well and let this kind of marinate for about 30 to 40 minutes at least. If you can let it remain for an hour, that will be good. Nothing like it. Look at the beautiful color. Okay, I'm going to let this marinate. Now, if you like, you can add about uh, one tablespoon of food color to this. But it's purely optional if you like it or else you can skip that. I'm going to skip that because I'm just making biryani at home so you really don't need to add it necessarily. Just let this marinate for about good 30 minutes. Now you see your rice has nicely come to a boil. The water is nice and hot. At this stage you need to check your rice. So once I think it's 3 4 done I'm going to stop cooking this. So yeah I think this is 3 4 done now. So it's exact timing. I'm going to just let this remain in this water and turn off the flame. Now I have drained off the water because the rice is about 3 fourth cook and it takes about uh, you know 10 to 15 minutes to really get to this level. So uh, and I have kept my spices intact. I'm just going to keep this aside for a while until uh, my chicken at the other end marinates well. In a dish take about 2 tablespoons of oil and uh, we're going to fry some onions just kind of break these so that uh, just cut them nice and long and break these when you're adding it to the dish so that they fry beautifully now my onions have uh, you know nicely fried till about 60 70 percent i'm going to get these out now i have my chicken here which has been marinating for uh, more than an hour now. To this, I am going to add my 3 4th cooked rice. I'm just going to kind of layer this onto my chicken. Spread this evenly. Sprinkle some coriander on top. Sprinkle some um, fried onion. Remember to keep the right time gap uh, while making biryani. The onion has to be hot so you got to fry this just before you start making this layering. 
Sprinkle some um, garam masala powder with saffron powder. If you do not have saffron powder, it's alright, but uh, the actual color of this biryani comes through the saffron powder. I've just mixed saffron powder with the garam masala powder so that um, it kind of uh, gives a nice flavor and the taste together. Add your remaining rice on top. Add some mint leaves with uh, coriander if you like. Once again, add a little of the saffron powder with uh, mixed with garam masala powder. Please do this exactly the way I'm telling you. And now the most important ingredient, add nice one teaspoonful of uh, ghee. This is extremely important to retain the moisture of the biryani so that you can continue eating it uh, for both meals. The next day it's going to taste the same. Now just nicely spread your ghee. Okay. Cook this on low flame for about 20 minutes and then you see that your entire house is going to be fragrant with this biryani smell. I'm going to close my lid. Now I have like a small outlet of air which I will close. So I'm going to just close this. You could add a nice dough around if you do not have an airtight lid. But uh, this is good if it fits exactly the well. Don't worry. And let this cook on low flame for good 20-25 minutes. And uh, after 20 minutes you can open up and see whether they've cooked. Or you could place the lid again and let them cook on low flame. It's not going to burn. So don't worry because your chicken while cooking is going to release water. And you also have the yogurt. You've also added ghee. So the moisture is going to remain maintained. So thank you very much and uh, hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and you guys will try it out in your homes and do write to me if in case you want me to really teach you or to cook with you a recipe of your choice I'll be more than happy because um, I believe in inspiring a lot of people to cook and now that I have that kind of expertise I want to pass it on to everyone so thank you and uh, see you again in my next video bye bye